Have you ever had a day out diving that just was not going well, but then ended up something like this? G'day guys, it's Cliff from Down Deep Adventures here. Today we have Steve and Russ joining me. It was an absolutely beautiful day and a beautiful morning, but oh man, it was cold. So after a long cold trip out to our spot, we were greeted with this disgusting green water. Expectations were very low when we saw how bad the visibility was. But we got in there and we had a crack. We had a look around on this spot for maybe an hour and a half, two hours. I was just about to give up hope on this spot and get back in the boat, but I thought I'd have one more dive. The fish life in this spot was actually pretty good. I spotted a nice gold spot wrasse, uh, a few spangled emperor, a couple of grassies, but just had so much trouble getting a spear in one. So I was trying to get that gold spot wrasse, but he just would not turn around or give me a good shot. But I turned around, had a look over my shoulder, and a nice grassy sweet lip was approaching. Alright guys, I know this wasn't my best shot, it was straight through the guts, but yeah, it happens. Ideally you want to shoot them either through the head or in the spine just to immobilise them as quickly as possible, then you can dispatch them with your knife and get a humane kill. So I was feeling pretty happy with my little grassy. I just put it in the esky and look over and look what Russ has got. This is a black spot tusk fish. This is quite a nice size one, probably six or seven kilo. Absolutely fantastic to eat. So that black spot was a personal best fish for us, so he was pretty stoked. And I was a little jealous. So we ended up moving spots after that, and the only highlight to this next spot was me playing cat and mouse with this little black wrasse, and yeah, as you can see with that little bit of cross current it made it so hard for me to get a good line on the fish yeah he was being a tricky little bugger he wouldn't give me a good shot so it was about midday at this point and we decided to try our luck somewhere else now when we sounded over this spot we got pretty darn excited the sounder was absolutely lit up there was fish stacked all the way from the bottom to about 10 meters from the surface yeah we were so excited and keen to get down there we both dived at the same time and once I noticed he was down there with me I tried to get away so there wasn't any friendly fire <laughs> That was a big one too, eh? I saw him in between you and me, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm swimming away, I'm swimming away. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. Alright, now this is where the day really turned around. Here we have another gut shot, but I got him in the boat, and he's a good fish. It was about five kilos, so I'm stoked. After I got the bluey in the boat, I dropped down and came across these two nice jacks. Got a nice shot on him, but he took off straight into that cave. So I went down and wrestled him out. So 
So once I located the jack school again, I noticed one that was a fair bit bigger than the rest of them. So I singled him out and went for him. Got my spear in him, but the shot was a little bit high, and I was a little bit worried it was going to tear out. But luckily, it held, and I got the fish. Now, this Jack was a personal best for me. He was about 3.2 kilos, so there was one happy Spearow. So I had two mangrove jacks in the boat at this point, so I told myself I wasn't going to shoot another one. Yeah, as you can see, there was quite a few jacks in this cave. Yeah, what I really wanted was either a snapper, I had seen a snapper at that point, or another black spot. But after a few more dives and approaching the end of the day, uh, temptation got the better of me and I took another jack. It was such a good vibe in the boat after all three of us had shot some really good fish. We are all stoked. Epic day. So I've got enough fish at this point so we called it a day. Just goes to show that you can have an absolutely shocker of a morning like the first five or six hours we only had two or three fish in the boat it was very very slow but that last spot just absolutely turned it on for us and turned the whole day around not a bad day what do you reckon dad good oh, good mate do you want to be on my youtube channel i was gonna get a feed yeah hold on this is my baby a bit of batter yeah a couple of, couple of chips you gonna do a catch and cook? Catch and cook, mate. <laughs> I didn't catch it, but I'll cook it. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the like button. And if you want to see more like it, please hit the subscribe button too. Thanks, guys.